Miss Coach, thank you, uh, first of all, for taking some time to talk with us. Appreciate yeah. it. You've been very busy since, since you got here. Can you kind of take us through the last couple of months and, and all the action here? Yeah, it was, it, was, it was strange. You know, I was recruiting for Nebraska, yeah. and I actually was in Columbus. And then, you know, we were talking, and then when Mark called me and said, hey, I want you to come in, I, I actually was driving in, from Co Columbus coming here as a Nebraska coach. Yeah. Then got here and then went right to work. And I think we had like a couple more weeks to recruit. And so, you know, came in, signed my contract, boom, hit the ground running in Ohio. And this is a program last year, of course, it was two and 10, not a long history of success. What was it about Mark and his plan that convinced you that this is where you want to be and the future is bright here? Oh, uh, you know, we, we from the same place and, and, and it's kind of like, we didn't talk about it, but we both knew. I knew when Mark got the job here, I was like, wow, this can be really something great. You know, with us being from Ohio, uh, Youngstown, which is about five hours from here, and then I lived in Columbus for eight years, and then I lived in Toledo, Ohio, for nine. So I was like, wow, if we can get, if, you know, getting that job and then being as close to Ohio, it can be something great. Uh, when you guys look at, at the plan, I mean, Rivals had you at number one in the nation. I know that <sighs> the goal is greatness and everything like that. Did you expect success to come this quickly with, with, with the way uh, you got, what you came into and what you're working with? Well, Yes and no, didn't expect to be number one in right. rivals, right. but what we did, we, we did know that we were going to go after the top guys in the Midwest, uh, which were, I always say, you know, first tier guys, uh, four star guys, uh, ain't that many five star guys, but a lot of four star guys, a lot of high three star guys, and the guys we went after all had major BCS offers, yeah. and so I, I knew we can do some, do some real good things, but I didn't think it would be that fast. Right. But, you know, but, you know, looking at Mark, you know, and I know what Mark's background, grew up with him, you know, the Stoops brothers, they, they just have that unique, you know, charisma about themselves. And, you know, if, if my son was coming out of high school right now, I'd definitely be looking at Coach Stoops because he's just an all-around guy. And I think the parents love him when they come in here. And the players see he's a player's coach but still has that discipline side. Yeah. So I knew it can be good. I just didn't know it would be that immediately right. good. What, what is it when you sit down with these kids? Is that part of the pitch, Coach Stoops? Like, what is the, without giving away your secrets, I guess, yeah. but kind of what is the message of, of where Kentucky football is going? Well, the message is, and I don't want to sound, you know, being arrogant or nothing, but we ain't going to take a back seat to nobody. We're going to go in, this is the SEC, we're going to go in and go head to head with the top guys. And, you know, we have a unique situation because we're in Lexington, and like I say, Ohio is right there. Yeah. And then you got Atlanta that's just like, I think, four hours away. I mean, so it's, just the surrounding six hour radius is pretty good. And you know, you, you're selling two things. When I go in and recruit kids, I'm selling the offense, which is the air raid offense, which Neil Brown, I've been, I, I watched Neil when my son was getting recruited out of high school. We was at Ohio State game, he was the offensive coordinator at uh, Troy, and they almost beat Ohio State. So I knew about him, and then selling, you know, Coach Stoops and Coach Elliott's defense is, is easy to sell. You just have seven guys drafted in the NFL. He had the most DBs. People don't know that. He has the most DBs in the NFL, more than even, you know, a lot of other guys. So he's, he, his, his product speaks for itself. When you look at that, that offense and you're coaching the tight ends, the perception, I think, for the casual fan is it's wide receivers and quarterbacks. Go, go, go. How do the tight ends fit into that offense, and, and what are you teaching them to prepare for the season? Well, I'll be letting you in on a little secret, but <laughs> I, I will tell you this. If you watch this in the spring, you will see our tight ends caught a lot of balls in this offense. Okay. And then with Neil, we look at it. You know, you want to have, and I think what Neil is evolving in this offense is, you know, he, he's, he's such a smart guy. And now you take the, the part of putting tight ends in so you can go smash mouth, you can get in four wides, or you can get in uh, four wides with two tight ends, move a guy around, and you can just do a lot of things. So the tight ends going to play a big part in this offense. With the success you guys are having, of course, there's going to be criticism. I'm surprised it didn't come sooner. Mm -hmm. There's one coach who mentioned something about Kentucky and not having consistency. I know you had a tweet today that may have been <laughs> – unintentionally related to that or sounded similar that negative attention that may come from other coaches negative recruiting how do you combat that on the recruiting trail what's the message still from yes. Kentucky I'll tell you what's unique kids are doing their homework now their parents are doing homeworks and you know a lot of kids that were getting recruited by some of them schools were getting that negative and it turned them kids off so yeah. you know let them keep saying what they're saying because it's really helping us yeah. but we're, we're, we're gonna sell what we're gonna sell here and, and I'm, I'm speaking for me, but also speaking for the head coach. We are not taking a back seat to nobody. So, you know, say what you want, you know, we're going to go to the ground and grind, you know. And when you look at what's going on, I know you can't mention specific players, 
but there are guys recruiting each other, which is we've seen a trend the last several years in recruiting. How important is it for players to recruit other players uh, that, that they've bought into the yeah. system and convinced them it's as well? It's big. It's big. You know, when, you know, you can talk about the 13 class and guys are already here. Yeah. You know, when we when we had them six weeks, we basically told the next guy recruit the next guy, and when when we finished that 13 class, that was the model for this 14 class. You know, you can't say guys' names, but I can tell you what I never seen a bond between other recruits like uh, I'm serious I've never seen it nowhere these guys are so close and you know they they already know the negative stuff regardless of what happens this year I mean we may win some games a lot of games we may not who knows but the these 14 guys know that this bond is going to be tight and they know what our what our game plan is you know going on going forward when you coach Stoops his plan is what Mitch Barnhart said was a big part of it and going into the season whether, you know, you, like you said, may win some games, may not, there, there's going to be some bumps, of course. It, you get to the end of the year, what are the things that you say, this is a success? You want to see certain things or certain areas improve or mm -hmm. consistently? What, what are the things that you will define as success at the end of the year? You know, it, I just think when you have a coaching change, I mean, these young men we have in the program now, they, they're working real hard. Uh, you can see the difference already. I mean, these guys are eager. They're ready to go. So measuring on wins and losses, time going to tell it after the season. But – I know what our plan is, and you know the plan is stick to that plan. I, I can't tell you what right. the plan is. You know, after this season, I think you'll know what the plan is. You know? All right, coach. Thank you very much. Appreciate okay. it. Okay.